Hi friends, in this session I am going to show the demo of how to consume mess messages in synchronous way. So Spring Boot 2.0 it supports synchronous way of consuming messages. Before Spring 2.0 it was only uh, through asynchronous way of consuming messages. So to consume messages through asynchronous way we have to use at the rate stream listener annotation and I have to pass the channel name. But uh, Spring 2.0 uh, it supports synchronous way of messaging. So I am going to show demo of how to use that uh, synchronous way of consuming messages. In case of asynchronous way we are using subscribable channel. If, if I go inside this sync it will be having subscribable channel. But in case of uh, synchronous way we have to use pollable message source. So we have to use this pollable message source which has a poll method. Uh, we have two flavors of poll methods. One is with handler. Uh, the one is with handler and parameterized reference. If you want to convert our payload to specific uh, model type, I can go with this parameterized type reference uh, poll method. So, so in this session, I am going to show the demo of that uh, how to use pollable message source. So, I am going to create one more uh, interface. Similar like uh, sync, I am going to create one interface to consume uh, messages in a synchronous way. So I'm, first I am going to create package as bind. In bind I am going to create uh, interface. I am going to name it as synchronous way of uh, uh, consuming message. Maybe I am giving it sync sync. So here I am going to use Pullable message source. Pullable message source. I'm giving mother name as source. I need to add import for this pullable message source. And it is through consume messages, so I need to provide input annotation. Whatever the name I provided inside this input will be taken as the channel name, so I'm going to pass it as input need to add import for this input so I'm going to save it so I'm going to use this interface in my enable binding annotation so that spring cloud stream will provide implementation for that so I'm going to add import for this thing So now I need to get that reference of uh, pollable message source. So I'm going to use private pollable message source. I'm giving us poll source. Uh, it is uh, I'm using at the rate auto white so that Spring will provide that bean for me. At the rate auto white. So this pollable source has poll method. So every time we have to check for whether any message is there, I have to consume. If no message is there, I have to wait for some more time. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one bean and I'm going to provide implementation of application runner. Inside that, I will be calling this poll method. If any messages comes, I will uh, consume that message and I'll print it to console. Else, I'll be waiting for uh, another five seconds. So I'm going to provide that implementation public application application runner so get runner it returns argument I'm going to use lambdas so what I'm going to do if my poll source dot poll method has a message I will take that message and print it to console system dot out dot print ln m dot get payload Fine. so if I'm having any message I'll just print else what I'll do I'll uh, wait my thread to 
5 seconds thread dot sleep it takes long milli so I'm going to use 5000 millis so it should be uh, continuously we should be checking for this so for that what I'm going to do I'm using while true So this thread dot sleep may throw any uh, interrupted exception. So I'm going to catch that. Try. Catch. Exception. E. System dot out dot print alarm. Error. I'm going to print that error message. So I'm going to save this so I'm making it as a bean so whenever I start my server uh, my spring boot application this bean will be initialized and it will be checking for that message so I'm going to save and I'm going to start my application run as Java application So it is started. Now I am going to publish one message to my input topic. So now uh, the message is published. We got uh, object format of that map payload. I will publish one more message. See this time it will not coming immediately. It will take 5 seconds. If, even though if you publish message, it will take 5 seconds to receive the message. So instead of uh, getting this uh, object. I want to convert it to my uh, employee object so I can use parameterized type preference so what I'm going to do this more poll method I'm going to use new parameterized reference of type employee So when I restart my server, I should be able to get my uh, object as employee object instead of uh, some memory value. I should be able to get proper employee to string data. So my application is started. Let me publish some message. See now I am able to get two string of my employee object. So if your object is string type I can directly use poll method and I can print that if you if your object is of some model like employee I can use this new parameter try reference. So one way is by using this bean by providing thread implementation of runnable method second way is we can use scheduler spring scheduler so i can use uh, at the rate enable scheduling enable enable scheduling so i'll enable the scheduling and i can create public void get message so I want it to run fixed schedule uh, fixed interval so at the rate schedule at the fixed rate of 5 seconds every 5 seconds I want to uh, check for this method so inside that I'll just use this poll source dot this method just doing this so 
So I'll restart my server. Now this scheduler runs every 5 uh, seconds because it is uh, millis. So every 5 seconds it comes to the scheduler. So now I am going to publish one message. See we are able to retrieve that message. So every 5 seconds it will be able to get the message. Maybe if I increase the delay more we should be able to see that uh, difference because now it is 5 seconds immediately we are able to see the message. This is how we will be consuming the messages in a synchronous way. Thank you friends. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel.